Oh, okay, next so quick. Is to let me copy that. I'm not to six seconds to the peak. Uh, so copy. Uh, all the best to all you graduates. Congratulations, class of 2024. I um 16 years ago. Just I don't know if I'm going to get used to this title of doctor anytime soon. <laughs> um 16 years ago I was where you all are. I was coming out of four years of my life dedicated. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of hard work. Um, I'm probably feeling very similar, or I was feeling very similar to probably how a lot of you are feeling right now. Um, sleepy. <laughs> um, a little bit stunned, uh, excited, hopefully proud. Uh, every single one of you sitting out there be proud of what you did. Everybody here is so proud of you. I, um, it's, it's a remarkable feat to do what you've all done. It's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of showing up. And you've done that one more time this morning. <laughs> um, that, that commitment and that showing up is what is going to carry you from here forward. Uh, one thing that I was definitely feeling when I was sitting where you are today 16 years ago was uh, honestly a bit of fear. It's the hard part feels like it's done and I think the expectation or the not knowing what's next maybe is the scary thing. There is a safety in being in a program. There's a safety in being in a school in having a direction and having mentors all around you having professors around you daily, having a schedule to keep to. Some of you may be going right back into that, going for a master's, eventually going for a doctorate. Um, maybe some of you will find the long way back around to an honorary doctorate someday. Um, whatever path you take, what guided you, I want everybody to just take a moment and um, hold your internal compass your soul lives here. Uh, Blackfeet, we say this is what guides us. Our soul lives where our heart lives. So we just take a moment to hold it and think about the gift you've given yourself with your degree today, the gift you've given your communities and your families with your degree today, and thank that self of yours four years ago, or maybe longer, that started your first day here with that same fear, that same trepidation, that same unknown, um, that same newness. Thank that younger version of yourself. They were very brave. That version of yourself today is also having to be brave all over again. Life moves in circles. Me being here, it's a lot of circles. 16 is four rounds of four. <laughs> Done four rounds of four years to come back here today. But my compass has pointed to University of Montana for a long, long time. I chose to come here after my family left our reservation. We left Browning, we left East Glacier, we left the Blackfeet Reservation when I was 11 years old. And I spent middle school and high school in Seattle. And as soon as I could get back here, I found a way through UM. Didn't apply anywhere else. I was recruited by a couple of Ivy Leagues that were looking for some high GPA natives to add to their roster. But none of them offered a standalone Native American Studies program like UM did. None of them also offered a conservatory theater approach, like UM does. There was everything that I wanted here, but mostly my compass was pointing me home. I don't know where all of your compasses point you, but trust that whatever brought you here, that same voice is going to guide you from here on out. Talking about how life moves in circles, you've completed a round of four years to get this degree. You've come full circle. Uh, commencement, this is just almost a, a cliche to say this at this point, but you're at the end of your study, but you're at the beginning. Commencement is the beginning, and it's so beautiful that commencement happens in the spring. When life is renewing, life is uh, brand new, and that phase of life, that early spring, that kind of childhood phase that you maybe are finding yourselves in now where you're taking baby steps postgraduate into an unknown, maybe scary world, um, you're supposed to be a little bit scared. You're supposed to be a little bit wobbly in that. And one of the great gifts of that new beginning 
I have to just for a moment and then aside very uh, deeply thank my, uh, my society at NT Theta New Breast. Um, we're, we're both in women's headdress society. And I traveled in from New York. I'm traveling out to France tomorrow. TSA is not kind <laughs> to ceremonial items, uh, to sacred items. And uh, we have to be very protective of these. So mine is protected safe at home, um, close to my parents. And Theta, because we're both in the same society, we're both representing a lot of the same things, has uh, asked me this morning if I would wear hers instead. So I'm wearing her headdress here today. Um, it's, you know, we walk with our community. President Bodner said, serve your communities. That's, uh, that will always guide you when your compass feels off. Tune it back to your communities and it will guide you home. So Theta, when we were getting ready, when she was um, preparing her headdress for me to wear it for this moment, um, we prayed. And one of the things she prayed for that comes with this new beginning, this commencement, one of the gifts of life, one of the gifts of newness, one of the gifts of childhood, which is kind of a cycle you're stepping into again in a way, is joy. So that's my prayer for all of you out there today as well. Through the sleepiness, through the pride, <laughs> through the nervousness of a new beginning, find the joy. Be so grateful for what you've done, for what's brought you here. Um, wherever you go from here, I mean, like I said, it was a really, really long circle that brought me back around here. When I graduated in 2008 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in acting and directing and a minor in Native American Studies, I watched half of my class break off and go to Los Angeles to pursue the dream. Watched the other half of the class break off and go to New York to pursue the dream. And I kind of looked both directions and didn't feel a draw. It was a little bit too new, a little bit too scary to jump into those unknowns. And I kind of did the unconventional thing. I stayed put. There was something that pointed my compass here, that kept my compass here, and I stayed here for a good long time before um, a lot of films came here, a lot of community came here, before uh, Hank Green and SciShow moved into town and gave a lot of us new graduates from media, arts, and theater a job. Um, you just, you never know, there's no formula. I, mean, I just say that because it's kind of expected, it's the norm, to gr if you graduate with an acting degree, if your aspirations are to act, to go to LA, to go to New York. Uh, whatever field you're graduating from, you probably have a little bit of that same voice in your head. What's the, what's the norm? What's the expected thing to do? What is, um, what is gonna most likely, what's, gonna, what's statistically going to give me the highest chance of success? The world doesn't really move in a formula, the, um, other than things kind of moving circularly. And that's one thing that I've learned over a lot of years. Um, but really the only barometer that you're going to have that you can trust is your heart. By staying here, I started getting lead roles in independent films when a lot of my very talented, equally talented, if not more talented friends who had moved to New York and LA we're struggling to find an agent still. I found a Montana agent. I grew my career slowly in a place that I wanted to also build community, wanted to bring um, more storytelling uh, opportunities to Montana, particularly to all of our native nations. And just kept plugging away. Found that my degree served my soul very well, applying what I did to activism, to working with youth, to working with particularly reservation youth. Because acting, um, you tune your instrument, which is your body, which guides you through your whole life. And the stronger that connection is, the more command you have of your instrument, the more strength and command you have of your life, of the world around you. So it actually honestly kind of surprised me that my trajectory eventually landed me in Hollywood, uh, landed me on Broadway after a lot of roundabouts and a lot of opportunities that were led with my heart first in the service of people, using the gift I've been given like all of you have been given and have had the opportunity to nurture and advance. 
by just following that creative instinct, that impulse, whatever it is that drove me, and listening to it first. Not the chatter of what was, ex what was more expected, not the chatter of what would be safer, what feels right. So maybe to help assuage some of this fear in all of you, this fear of the unknown in solidarity, I decided to come up here this morning and also embrace the unknown with you. I didn't write a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've spent the last 16 years since I was sitting where you are writing um, or gathering um, experience, gathering life in my heart. And that's the gift this morning. Um, and all of my words come directly from watching all of you come in, sit down, laugh with your friends, but uh, please stay in touch with each other. It's, all, it's precious and it goes fast. <laughs> Um, life will take you a lot of different ways, but it's really important to keep coming back around and checking in with each other. So you guys helped each other get through something really tremendous and your family forever now for that. Um, watching you wave to all the people who have traveled so far in the stands to see you all be here to graduate. I also just have to give a special shout out to all of you who are first generation grads. Your families are so proud. I am so proud of you. And like Bernadette said in, um, in that beautiful video, um, like me, you all might be the first, but you're definitely not going to be the last. Um, you've opened a door for the rest of your family, for the rest of your communities. And it uh, probably was, took a little extra courage to get through it without necessarily having a guide that you could call home to and ask about what their experience was. You forged your own path. And I have immense respect for all of you. But now everybody's uh, kind of starting over again together. So as you all take your first steps, your first little baby steps back out into the world, as you commence on your new journey, wherever that goes, lead with your heart. Lead with joy. Lead with compassion. You may be very skilled in whatever field it is that you've just picked up and tuck that in your belt, but that's that's a, supporting, um, that's a supporting framework that should always prop up your kindness, your care for the world around you. And um, I'm so excited that this class is going out to help make this world a better, more just, more compassionate, more joyful place. Thank you all. Be well, be safe, safe travels to everybody, wherever you return to from here. And, uh, yeah, have some fun. <laughs> Welcome to the stage.